Jesus became our sin bearer. The Bible in the Old Testament teaches us that there is a requirement for the shedding of blood for the remission of sins. Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. And so for the forgiveness of sins, there was much shedding of blood that would happen uh, in the tabernacle and in the temple. Now the Levitical sacrifices and the Day of Atonement was something that God had instituted in the Old Testament. Uh, what would happen under that is uh, that several animals would be sacrificed to uh, compensate for sin, for sin to be removed, for the blessings of God to come upon the people, for the people uh, to once again relate uh, with God with the right conscience. So all of this would happen on a daily basis and the people of Israel knew uh, that this was very important for them to um, pay for their sins. Now, all of this that we read about in the Old Testament uh, actually typified what Jesus Christ would do in the New Testament. Jesus uh, is that Lamb of God who was manifest uh, in the right time, in the fullness of time, as Galatians 4.4 tells us. And Jesus Christ is that perfect, sinless sacrifice, uh, sacrifice uh, uh, who, was, who was nailed on the cross for us and He shed His blood for us. He bore the sins of the whole world uh, upon Himself. And so Jesus, instead of any of these animals, became our sin bearer. He became our sin offering and He uh, is the one who imputes righteousness upon us because of what He has done on the cross of Calvary. And it's only possible because he lived a sinless life uh, and that he had mastery over sin in his life even though he was fully man he was fully God and he was fully man and Jesus has done this for us on the cross of Calvary and so from God's side what God has done by sending Jesus to us is uh, that he has now uh, clothed us in righteousness now on our part what has changed because of the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross is the fact that our sins have been forgiven. Now we can live a life free of shame, free of guilt. And so as believers, one of the things that we must pursue is to know this truth deeply. Now, many of us have this experience during salvation when we receive the forgiveness for our sins, when we experience the love of God in such a powerful and a tangible way. But somehow as we live on as believers, there are times where, where we do not bring uh, uh, the, uh, the sins that we ought to confess before the Lord and receive His forgiveness for what Jesus has already done on the cross of Calvary. And so sometimes uh, we tend to carry the shame and the guilt uh, and, and we do not believe in the power of the blood as much as we did when we first received the Lord Jesus. And so I encourage us that we must continually trust in the power of the cross. We must continually trust in what Jesus has done for us. We must continually trust in the fact that Jesus has become our perfect sin bearer. He has become our perfect sin offering. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you've paid for the sins of the world, O oh God, on the cross of Calvary. Father, we thank you for your love toward us, O oh God. Father, we thank you that this love has set us free. And God, I pray today that anyone, O oh God, who does not know your love, that Father, they will receive your love into their hearts. God, no matter what is going on uh, in their lives, Father God, I pray that they will have an understanding of the blood of the new covenant, O oh God, that washes away their sins. God, this day, I pray that people will receive you uh, into their lives, that ex they'll accept Jesus, O oh God, as their Lord and Savior. And God, I pray also for the burden uh, of guilt and shame to be broken off of people, God. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your perfect work on the cross. We, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.